Oh, yeah, we have these. Um, oh, I must be the only person because I think people are just addicted to hype. But clearly, clearly, these um, cactus plant fly, sorry, cactus plant flea market Nike Dunk lows are horrendous, right? But they look, you know, they look horrendous. Look okay. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Mars Yard. Um, you know, obviously the ones that Tom Sachs, Tom Sachs designed. But in terms of being objective, they're pretty butters, isn't it? But for whatever reason, I can still picture the likes of ASAP Bari wearing this with some terrible, you know, mismatched Armani, whatever, capital outfit with loads of diamantes all over the place, right? I could definitely see people like that wearing this sort of stuff because it kind of calls for that kind of outfit with the tears all over your jeans and whatnot. But these look terrible, like convincingly pretty terrible. The only thing I could say that's probably a good thing is that at least cactus plant flea market when they do do collaborations with nike they tend to kind of push the boundaries a little bit they don't play it safe and just change the colorway it's always a different kind of application um a different type of approach to the thing different color different approach it's just interesting to look at but in terms of being objective these look pretty terrible i gotta say they really really look terrible um it says they leave the cactus plant flea market to always push the envelope when it comes to working on footwear from decking out the dunk clothes to the up tempos inspired air force ones the brand is fearless when it comes to producing polarizing sneakers agreed um cynthia liu who's i think the yeah the founder of the label uh cynthia liu or cynthia liu um reno that? renovates the classic silhouettes with earthy elements and a plethora of details base layer of the base layer are bereft of the usual smooth leather uppers and instead of modified triangular shaped quilting on a beige hue santone tan you know i'm not reading the color code of it. you know what it looks like i hate these sneaker pictures though on your toes with the pin rolls so shock sewing i'm just glad they haven't got weed socks on these shits or, or any sort of ayahuasca socks or something but sneaker photography is so crap legitimately lame it's one of the worst things about streetwear honestly the photography involved in sneaker culture is just terrible all these little little toe up things the socks showing like hey, relax be more interesting please a little bit more, some cooler poses something give us something different i'll take these flat ones over this toe up any day of the week this looks like something some instagram baddie would do to make their leg look longer but it doesn't ever do that like just allow it the picture's always terrible in it but again these these little companies are interesting too and these little chinese places where they essentially leak all these pictures of these shoes ahead of time because usually they get sent them ahead of time so that they can make fakes that's basically the long and short of it that that um black market I, hopefully someone will uncover it because the level of accuracy you could get from rep shoes nowadays is so scary that it leads me to believe that there's definitely some um weird deal that they have in place with these brands where they basically get these samples early so that they can make them and then sell them to customers and whatnot and you know they can basically double dip because they get the ability to sell them to legit stores and they get the ability to sell them to rep places who pay a high premium they then disseminate them all the shops because they all get the same reps apart from maybe a few everyone gets the same reps apart from maybe per look, perfect shoes or pk right but everyone gets the same level of reps um i'm sure it's maybe some one group who then basically gives them to all these different factors trees and then they go from there or they basically get the base or they get maybe the template or whatever it may be right and then they or the tooling and then they basically be able to make it off their own back maybe add some details here and there but there's definitely something underhand going on there but yeah for me they look absolutely garbage again i, I i'm sure we're gonna see all those um ripped jean wearing guys you know bari leading the revolution wearing these things making them look absolutely terrible than what they are then we're gonna see some really tiny fashion girl wearing them everyone's gonna be like oh they look really cool but the girl's four foot two in real life so anything she wears is gonna look great and for the most people they're gonna look absolutely terrible but at least they try and do something interesting at least doesn't look at anything else that resisted on the market i like the idea that they've got that one swoosh on the left foot that's pretty cool um yeah cool whatever but yeah i'm I'm not a fan i think they look complete garbage and they're probably gonna just go and sell loads because of the hype and that's really about it